Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to old Facebook statuses. Now, every single Thursday, I react to either an old video or something from in the past. So, if you guys want to see me react to old Facebook profile pictures next week, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. If we can maybe hit 8,000 like ratings, I will do that video next week. But without any further ado, let's go and look at some of these Facebook statuses. Oh no. Okay then, so first of all, at Emily22 underscore 1D was so excited for me to make this video, she posted this on her Twitter, which I thought was pretty cool, so I thought I'd give that a little mention at the start. Oh my goodness. This is my first ever Facebook status, right? Now, before I actually posted a status, I always used to, like, message people on their Facebook walls. Who in their right mind wants to start a private conversation on someone's wall. That is what I used to do. How are you on their wall? What's the, what's the point in that? Whether or not to go to the shop. And as you can see, no one's liked that post. Absolutely no one has liked that post. And I can see why, to be honest, because who gives a, who gives a shit if I want to go to the shop or not? Why did I even, why did I even post that? Okay then, moving on from June to September the 16th, 2009. Fell off his train. Ha! Now, I, I sometimes think I've got problems now, but falling off a train. So the thing is, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to explain myself now because you're probably thinking, what? You, you actually fell off a train? There are some trains in England where you have to pull down a window and sort of reach under it to open the door. Now, I did this, but didn't bring my hand back through the window. So as the door swung open, I sort of fell out with it. To be honest, now, every time I'm in a train and I'm near one of these doors, I make sure I go out of the door behind someone else so that I don't have to open this door and fall over again. Because I genuinely haven't opened these doors since. I probably will fall over again if I ever do it. So, if my life couldn't get any worse in September of 2009, in October the 11th, 2009, just punched my calculator and broke it. This maths homework has caused more status changes than possible. See, I don't really know how it works at school anymore, but for maths, or mathematics, whatever you call it, math, you, you had a calculator paper and a non-calculator paper, and everyone used to do their non-calculator homework with a calculator, because why wouldn't you? The teacher's not there to, I don't know, hit you with a ruler or anything like that. And if I couldn't do it in my head, and I couldn't do it on the calculator, I'm sure that breaking it, and punching it is, is really going to help me do my homework. The, the worst thing is, I was 16 years old. That isn't even that long ago. On December the 30th, can't believe he actually has live TV, Facebook and shit on his Xbox. Worth staying up all night to get. Ha ha. There isn't anything funny about that, but still, with most things, I always proceed to say ha ha. I don't know if it was a nervous thing or whether or not I thought it was funny. But obviously no one else would have done, because it isn't funny. I, I don't know whether to be proud of myself now for not being this dumb, or whether or not I should be ashamed that I ever put these things on bloody Facebook. Okay, so we're moving into 2010 now, January. I was obviously going through a stage of rebellion. Ah, mandem. That's just not right, you know? I used to go, on a Friday night after school, I used to go out with a bloody hood on and tracksuit bottoms on, play football and then go to the kebab van and get a kebab, but I don't see why I have to put ah man them on Facebook thinking I'm some sort of What the hell? February the 14th, so Valentine's Day. Wonders whether he should get his hair cut shorter or wah. Any preferences people? Question mark, smiley face, kiss. What, why would anyone care about what haircut I get? Shorter or wah? Why did I talk like that? Why didn't I just say shorter or what? Or sh no, that, that doesn't even make sense anyway. Well, you, if you're getting your haircut, you can only get it shorter anyway. Should get it shorter or wah. You're gonna get your haircut, but it's gonna get longer. Jesus wept, that is embarrassing. <laughs> now this one, right, I genuinely used to try and skive off of school in primary school for this. Just had the weirdest memory ever. Not wanting to go to primary school on St. George's Day 
as when the teacher used to say it, everyone turned around and stared at me. I don't know, someone farts in assembly. Everyone thinks it's bloody hilarious. As soon as it was, this happened to me twice, okay? St George's Day happened to fall on an entire school assembly two years in a row when I was like, I don't know, eight or nine. And because I was one of the only ones called George, in fact, I don't think there was anyone in my year in primary school called George, everyone would just turn around and like, in a way, looking back on it now, it was pretty cool because they probably, because they're so young and we were so young, they probably thought that I was St. George and this assembly was about me. But it wasn't, but they thought it was. On August the 5th, 2010, the day before my birthday, forgot it was my birthday in a couple of hours. What is wrong with me? Evidently quite a bit. We'll be surprised if I'm allowed in slash out of the UK with my new passport photo. Cross between a paedophile and a drunk hedgehog. <laughs> oh no. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. My passport photo is absolutely atrocious. I look, obviously when I took it, I was like 16, 17. I look about 10, not gonna lie. I might show you guys next week in the Facebook profile pictures if you guys can hit 8,000 likes on this video. I will show you cross between a paedophile and a drunk hedgehog. What am I thinking? On June the 6th, 2011, I'm gonna have one giant moan. Psychology is the biggest lump of lard I have ever seen. A bit like the teacher. Although she is a nice woman. Make, just have to make sure I put that bit in. She can't teach the subject to save her life. As for the other one, I have probably chewed apart more pens than the amount I have learnt. I am going to be sat there like a gone off sour lemon with no clue whether I belong in a meringue or a tart. Now. This was quite blatantly my attempt of comedy. This was my efforts to try and make people laugh. This is the sort of Facebook status that is fishing for likes. On a side note, what the bloody hell am I talking about? Whether I belong in a meringue or a tart, the teacher can't teach the subject. That's why she's a teacher and you failed, George. And the final one, and this is one I'm actually quite proud of, before I get the shit ripped out of me, yes, I do post Call of Duty videos on YouTube, not too fussed. Now, this is a thing, I posted a status on Twitter about this yesterday. People literally used to make fun of me 24-7. Facebook people, Facebook friends, they used to make fun of me for posting Call of Duty videos, Call of Duty gameplay on YouTube and stuff like that. And literally everyone thought that I was, you know, I must have been like a special kid to decide to make these videos. Now, the same people that used to take the piss out of me are suddenly wanting to be my best friend because I make videos online. Don't let anyone laugh at you and tell you you can't do something or you shouldn't do something because they think you look silly when really you're having the time of your life doing what you love. That is what I did. I didn't stop making videos even though people were, you know, laughing about me, laughing at me and stuff like that. It didn't really phase me at all. And that is why I still make videos today because it's my passion, it's my hobby, I love doing it and I'm fortunate enough to be able to do it as a job. So that brings an end to reacting to Facebook statuses of old. These these are like, honestly, the fact that these were only like three or four years ago worries me slightly that I, I might have actually had a problem. Who falls off a train? Who falls off a bloody train? I don't know, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like I said at the start of the video, if you guys want to see reacting to old Facebook profile pictures, next week be sure to leave a like raise it on the video if we can maybe hit 8,000 likes that would be absolutely amazing but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you all next time goodbye so then guys hopefully you all enjoyed today's video if you did a like rating would be very much appreciated on your screen right now we have my gaming channel on the left hand side and also my vlogging channel on the right hand side if you didn't know i already had these be sure to go subscribe click the annotations with the videos on your screen and i'll see you guys next time goodbye